Today we're going to use 2Comp to create this uh, really cool volumetric light effect and it's actually really simple and we're not using any special plugins or anything. So I'm just going to create a new composition and I'm going to uh, type some text quick VFX. That's not the official font but um, I'm just going to hit Y and center this anchor point hit V to go back to select mode and I'm just going to add generate light burst on top of this. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm going to make that 3D layer. So I'm just going to add a camera and a null for the camera. Just call it cam null. Parent the camera to the cam null and make the cam null 3D. Just lock the camera layer. Now if I rotate this, as you can see, this is pretty flat. I mean, there's no 3D effect going on here. That's because the origin center is in layer space and the layer is basically um, a 2D layer. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create another null and I'll call this a uh, back null. This is basically gonna act like a kind of spotlight we're going to back project from this. So if you just go into custom view and make the back null 3D and I'm just going to push it back along Z just behind the text and I'll push it back along Z500. What we're going to do is we're going to use 2Comp to project from this null. So if I just go back to my quick VFX I'm going to alt stop watch click the center here and I'm just going to pick whip position of the back null just open up this, delete the second line, delete the variable and here I'm just going to add 2comp square bracket 0 0 0 the magic uh, expression and I'm just going to click away and nothing's happened that's because we need to go back to our active camera and if I rotate now from the null We've got a cool back projection, kind of volumetric spotlight effect going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the ray length and maybe the intensity. And I'm just going to duplicate my quick VFX text layer and take the effect off it and then put it behind the effect layer. And that just gives it a cooler kind of look. So there you go several seconds to create a really cool uh, volumetric light effect that is basically completely 3D well looks 3D and we can adjust the back null to kind of change the projection projects slightly from above and it all updates so yeah 2Comp is a very powerful expression it's worth knowing it's worth understanding what it does and uh, thanks for watching